Okay, this is risky. Oh, one health? One health? Are you kidding me? Well, hello everybody, Dre here, and welcome back to World of Tanks. Now, if you're new to World of Tanks, the game is a free-to-play PC game, and it's all about massive tank battles with a huge arsenal of tanks to choose from. The game currently has 11 different nations that amass over 550 tanks with five different classes of tanks to choose from. You can roll out on over 40 different battle arenas ranging from massive desert plains to urban city battles with each map having its own characteristics and game strategy. Now Wargaming was nice enough to sponsor this video and I do want to thank them for supporting the channel. If at any time during the video you would like to know more about World of Tanks, I'll have a link at the top of the description where you can check it out. More importantly, if you're new to World of Tanks and you end up downloading the game, make sure you use code TANKTASTIC and you'll get 7 premium days, 500 gold, and a T-127 Soviet Premium Tier 3 tank. Now let's get out on the battlefield and shoot some tanks. Alright, so here's our first battle. We're going to be using the T-127, which is the tank you get if you use code TANKTASTIC that I talked about at the start of this video. And it is a Tier 3 Premium Light Tank. And I gotta say, it's a pretty good one. It's got great frontal armor, not the best gun on it, uh, but if you don't mind using some gold ammo, you should be able to, you know, do quite well. Uh, it just doesn't have great penetration values. All right, so I'm being a little ballsy. As you can see, a lot of the enemies are in the middle of the map right now. I'm surprised that there's actually nobody over here. Um, oh, there we go. I've just spotted the first little guy. And I think he's... No, he's not AFK. He's just standing still. So, yeah, we're on low tier. They're not the smartest. My frontal armor should be able to block the majority of this. And uh, it's just worth it to just stand here and lay down the law. There we go. We took out that guy. Uh, now we can at least get behind enemy lines here. There might be a few more guys over there. I'm not too worried, though. Even my back armor is rather good in this thing. Okay. And, yeah, these guys are so occupied with the enemy front lines here. They probably won't even see me. Uh, ricochet on the duck. I can penetrate his top hall, though, and he's going to have a hard time penetrating mine. So I am just trading shots right now. With this tank, you can do this. Not all tanks, obviously, are going to work this way. And my teammates are totally uh, occupying his space. And there we go. We took out that guy as well. Try and support my team over here. Again, I'm bouncing shots like crazy. Uh, if we were in a Tier 4 match, I wouldn't be as crazy as I am right now. But I'm not too worried about it. And we are rapidly taking down the enemy team here. So we got a couple guys that got behind the enemy lines here. As you can see, all my team is on their side of the of the uh, map right now. So only a few guys got by. And at this point, it's looking like we're definitely going to win. Uh, we should be able to just farm a few shots here and hopefully get the final few kills. All right, there we go. I'm not getting lucky with the kills. Unfortunately, everybody's just killing them right before I can. But uh, it's not about getting all the kills. As long as you're doing lots of damage, that's the good thing. All right, there we go. Of course, I missed the, the chance I'm going to get a kill here. Come on. There we go. Got the top kill. And the final guy over in the corner. I should have waited to aim a little bit lo longer, but that's okay. We clearly did great on that game. We only lost a few good men. Actually, the one guy that died got four kills, so he did great. Uh, two kills there, almost 1,000 damage. That's pretty damn good for a Tier 3 game. Okay, and for the next battle, I thought we'd go to some high-tier gameplay here. This is generally what I prefer to do. I have been playing this game for eight years, so I wouldn't say I'm a great player, but I do understand the mechanics of the game, and high-tier gameplay is just my preference. Uh, so we're in Himmelsdorf on one of my favorite tanks, the Emil 2, and just to be fully transparent, this is a recording of a battle that I did a couple days ago. It was a really fun battle, so I did want to show it to you guys. Uh, but yeah, on Himmelsdorf, on this side of the map at least, there's only one good spot that I can think of for the Emil 2, which is at the top of this mountain here um, and yeah basically the way this tank works it's kind of a very unique heavy tank it's got some of the worst hull armor uh, you have on a heavy tank but some of the best turret armor so if you can hide that lower hull uh, you're basically going to be golden because you're going to bounce the vast majority of the shots coming at your top turret. So yeah, I'm going up to the top of the mountain here to get to that spot uh, to hopefully help my team. And I didn't even mention this thing has an auto loader as well. As a heavy tank, I don't even know of another class that can do that. I don't think there actually is any other heavy tanks in this game that have an auto loader. So it can pack a punch really, really quickly and then obviously has a long reload time once you uh, unload that clip. 
So just looking at the enemy team here, obviously they have taken over the top right now. My team was a bit late to the battle, so I'm going to my one spot that I talked about right now. I'm going to hide that lower hull and just try and support my team from this location right here. As you can see, I'm going to bounce shots like crazy if they shoot my uh, top turret. Chances are, 99% of the time, they're going to bounce. Okay, and here he comes back up the hill, and I can utilize my autoloader to do some serious damage, as you can see. And unfortunately, missed the last shot for the kill there. Talk about unlucky, but that's fine. And yeah, now I'm just checking out this email, so hopefully my artillery can uh, try and shoot him. And actually, yeah, I think one comes in right there. Uh, so yeah, that helped a little bit. All right, and as you can see, we pushed back the enemy quite well, so I'm going to push ahead here, get out of my safe zone, and uh, try and support the team by going down the side here. I saw that we spotted the artillery, so I figured I could take a chance here. The email's not going to last very long, and rush down this hill and see if I can actually get their artillery. Um, and there we go. First kill, I killed the enemy email. So yeah, not a very fast tank, but we can utilize this uh, downward slope to our advantage, and as you can see, uh, there's no enemies in sight over here so I'm taking a little risk especially in this tank with my weak lower hull uh, but I did really want to kill the artillery as quickly as possible um, because my team as you can see is actually losing right now and I want to support them as quickly as possible so I'm beelining it right to where the artillery was last spotted as you can see I'm looking around there's obviously no artillery here but I am at their base and this is a good spot to be at they're not gonna expect especially an email uh, this far behind enemy lines so I got one guy here trying to get a spot off on me, not going very well, M missed my shot there, but he's not going to be able to shoot me from that location, I don't know why he's staying there. I'm just using these rocks to my advantage, again, when you're playing with this tank, it's very situational, you gotta constantly think about that lower hull, and that's kinda what I'm doing right now. I don't wanna rush in, there's a lot of enemies over there, and I have no team support. My team is at the other side of the map right now, so I'm taking my time trying to spot these guys for our artillery, and uh, just doing w what I can from this location. So this guy's still stuck in here. I have crammed him in the back here. Bounced his shot, and now we are going to lay down the law. Unfortunately, I did take a shot to the side there, but I, I acknowledge that the Scorpion G was there. Uh, pulled back here just to try and hide from the Scorpion G. I hoped he would come this way, but he didn't. But that's fine, because I needed time to reload my magazine anyway. So now I know the Scorpion's to the right of me. Um, I didn't know if he went away though. Scor Scorpion is a really fast tank. There we go. Got the one artillery. I know the Scorpion's over here, so I'm being extremely cautious. I don't know where he went, but I pretty much figure out that he's going to be around that corner right there that I was looking at. And there he is. I spotted him. He's coming out. Don't know why he came out, but he's, he's an extremely weak tank when it comes to an armor perspective. He's got a giant gun on it though. There we go. I figured I'd take out the artillery because I did spot it. Uh, artillery are very low HP, so you really want to focus on them because they're disastrous if you leave them on the on on the field here. Now I'm backing up. I don't know why the scorpion didn't rush me there. Uh, if he was smart, he would have counted my shots and realized that I had to reload. Uh, so yeah, that 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 was just lucky that the scorpion didn't pursue me. And as you can see, it's a one on three right now. Uh, my whole enemy team has died, and the pressure is on for me to do well here. I do not do well under pressure. So I risked a, a shot here, one out, a little bit of a delay on that shot there, but uh, I have an a, a auto loader and I was able to do my second shot and take out the scorpion. So now I've dropped down to one versus two. Now I know they're on the base, I mean obviously the base is counting down right now, so uh, we have the tortoise somewhere on the map. Uh, as you can see, last spotted on the other side of the map. Very slow tank, wasn't too worried about the tortoise, so I'm rushing in, uh, trying to kill this guy as quickly as possible, but I do have to watch my health as you can see, because it is quite low. So looking for a spot, got lucky, and he did not penetrate me. And there we go, that guy's gone. Now it's me versus the tortoise, uh, which I hate dealing with tortoises. They are the worst. They're basically a walking wall. Very, very slow, uh, but if you get the in, in the front of them, you are screwed. So I have no idea where he is. Doing my best to find out. I'm asking my team. They're watching me play. Where was he last seen? Uh, as you can see, they're basically pointing exactly where I assumed he was. So I figured I might have time to cap because the tortoise is slow. Chances are, though, he'll probably ma make it in time. Now, obviously, he can come either behind me or in front of me. D depending on which way he was going, where he was, I had no idea. I decided to look at this direction. And as you can see, that was a complete failure. So I'm trying to turn around as quickly as possible. I probably should have just got out of there. Um, but thankfully, he missed his shot. And now I'm just going to use this wall to try and hide as much as I can of that lower hall. 
Now, this is where I make a major mistake. Now, I, I had the upper hand here. I was hidden. I should have waited much longer here. He got on the point, and unfortunately, I do not do well under pressure, so I kind of rushed into this. I should have took more time. What I should have done is went to the north here and went all the way around the map, I think. That would have been a better idea. For some reason, during my anxiety right now, I decided to come out, and um, I thought I could outrun the, the tank and go to the side of him. Unfortunately, they turn a lot faster than I expected, and uh, this is where I ruined the game for everybody else. But still, I did a lot of damage. I got behind enemy lines. It was a really great game, and I learned from my mistakes. Okay, and it wouldn't be an episode of World of Tanks without some KV2 gameplay. So we're out, and uh, we're top tier, so that's great. We got another KV2 friend. Maybe I should join him. Um, don't really know which side I want to go on yet. I'm going to analyze where these guys go and figure it out from there. Okay, so we made it to this side of the map. We got a KV-2 and a KV-1 beside us, so the KV crew is out, and I'm gonna go to this side so we're down in the dip a little bit, just in case I get shot from the left-hand side. You never know. But yeah, this side's great. It's got a lot of concealment, obviously, with all these bushes here, so I'm just gonna move up. I might chill here for a little bit. We'll see what my teammates do as well. Yeah, looks like we're all gonna stay put. All right, gonna push up a little bit, see what we can find here. Hopefully my teammates follow me, at least to this side of the road. MT should hopefully spot something here. Oh, and there we go. Look at the speak of the devil. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> and there we go. First kill, and this is why the KV-2 is so enjoyable. It's just got a big old derp cannon on it, and uh, yeah, you can do a lot of damage really, really quickly, especially at this tier. All right, we got a Tog slowly moving over here. Let's see if we can get a hit. Oh, you're so lucky, Tog. All right, I'm going to put on some premium ammo here, but I got a long reload time, so the chances are I'm not going to hit that guy. Um, getting a lot of spots over here, though, so I'm going to push back a little bit. Oh, would you look at that? Is that TP AFK, or is he just kind of chilling down there? Well, he's going to give me a t chance to shoot him, and boom goes the dynamite. One hit. Mind you, he didn't have much HP, so that's fine. Okay, we're gonna move up to the middle here. Uh, obviously, a lot's going on, and they are winning that point. I just don't want them to cap, and we should be okay here. Might be out in the open a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the other side of this hill. And yeah, this M4 is hitting me a little bit. Hopefully, I can get down before I take too much damage. Okay, actually, that M4 just got spotted. Let's see if I can return the fire on him, because there's not much uh, safety net over there. So, wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Yes! Oh, I track destroy. Destroyed him. I thought I got the kill. Unfortunately, I hit his track. That's surprising, though, with how inaccurate this gun is. All right, there was a guy spotted here. There he is. There he is. And... Oh, my God! What is up with me in tracking right now? Talk about unlucky with that one. All right, let's push in. Uh, the Churchill's probably gonna die before I can even get a spot off on him. He's behind that, yeah, that train there. But I did have an OI over here. Actually, the OI's dead. There was a teammate beside him, though. Hopefully, I can spot. That or I'll take this guy out. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, that's behind this. Can we get that spot off? I might be able to hit him here. You know what? Let's try it. And there he goes. Oh, man. The KV-2 is just so enjoyable to play. How can you not love this? Okay, I have options here. I can either cap or actually just go for the enemy kills. Um, thing is, we're not too far ahead, but the majority of my team that's still up are is the teammates that are actually getting kills, so usually they're probably pretty good players. So I'm not gonna cap, because I want to farm some kills here. Just got spotted probably on the hill over there. Uh, so I'm gonna go down on this side. This MT's coming. I don't know if I'll have the gun depression to hit him up, but... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I missed the spot, and yeah, as I assumed, lots of guys down there. Let's not die. So yeah, now it's four on four. It's getting a little nerve-wracking now. I do not want to go out because there's still a guy on that mountain looking at me. I really would like to hit this T1, though. I'm going to take a risk here. I might get shot from the mountain. I just got spotted. Nope, nope, nope. Gun depression. Not going to be able to get the shot off quick enough. But if we can spot this guy... Oh, God. Okay, this is risky. Oh, one health?! One health? Are you kidding me? Oh, talk about unlucky. I mean, that was a great run regardless, but one health for the kill on me? Oh, God, that is brutal. All right, we ended off that battle on the top of our team with three kills and 626 XP, so we didn't do too bad at all, all things considered, compared to the rest of our team here. 
Uh, but yeah, you win some, you lose some, and uh, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed checking out a little bit of World of Tanks. I uh, did a lot of heavy tank gameplay today. If you guys like this, let me know. We might try some more in the near future. But do not forget, if you haven't played this before, use code TANKTASTIC. All the information will be in the description of this video. And yeah, feel free to add me, by the way. My uh, in-game name is Dragast, and I would love to platoon with you, some of you guys. Especially if you get that Tier 3 tank, we should get out and platoon together and have some fun. So yeah, as always, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.